Tempers are flaring following the slaying of a white supremacist leader in South Africa. Julius Malema heads the African National Congress Party's Youth League. Don't come here with that white tendency. Not yet. You can do it somewhere else. Not yet. If you've got a tendency of undermining blacks even where you work, you are in the wrong place. Yeah, you are in the wrong place. And you can go out. Malema was confronting BBC reporter Jonah Fisher Thursday. Rubbish is what you have covered in that uh, uh, trouser. That is rubbish. That which you have covered in this trouser is rubbish. Okay? You are a small boy. You can't do anything. I didn't come here to be Come a out. Go out. Bastard. Go out. You bloody agent. A day earlier, things had gotten heated during the filming of the Africa 360 TV show, with the head of Eugene Terrablanche's AWB party storming off the set after confronting an analyst and the show's host. Who are being oppressed in this country. I can't. Do you care no, 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 don't, don't interrupt me. I'll finish. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. And you won't dare, Mr. Vasaki. You Thank won't you dare much. interrupting me. Once more. Much. Take away this man. Thank you very much. Touch me, and you'll be in trouble. Touch me on my studio. You touched me. Touch me on my you studio. Touched me. Touch me on my studio. You touched me. And take away his arm. Touch me on my studio. Take away his arm from me. Touch me on my studio. Authorities said the 69-year-old Tara Blanche was bludgeoned to death on Saturday. A 15-year-old and a 28-year-old farm worker were charged in the killing during a hearing at a heavily guarded courthouse this week. The ANC has now asked all wings of its party to stop singing controversial songs, which some blame for incitement that led to the killing. But Malema was still defiantly singing them Thursday. We can give you 10 songs. They sing about Boas and how Boas have brutalized our people. This song in Zulu talks about shooting boars, a derogatory term for whites. The news conference would not have helped efforts by the country's leadership seeking to calm racial tensions weeks away from the start of the World Cup in South Africa. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.